6 easy steps for creating videos using Microsoft PowerPoint. Hello everyone. Do you think creating a video is difficult? Let's break this myth. We will look at 6 simple steps that can be followed for creating videos using Microsoft PowerPoint. Step 1. Prepare your presentation. As you can see, I have all the information that I require in this video presentation on my slides. My slides are arranged according to the video presentation. Each slide has the text, shape as well as images that I want to incorporate. This is the first and foremost part of creating a video presentation. Step 2. Insert transitions. The transition option is the fifth option in the ribbon tab. Transition option is used when you want to add effects while changing the slide from one to the next. For example, I will add the split effect to slide number 8 and I will add random bars effect to slide number 9. Let us preview. As you can see, the effect came into place while the slides were shifting from 7 to 8 and 8 to 9. Transition effects are many and you can explore by clicking on the drop down menu and choosing which effect you would like to add. Step 3. Insert animations. The animation option is the sixth option on the ribbon tab. The animation option does not appear unless you select an object on the screen. I am going to animate the background image of the screen by choosing the appear option. I will also animate the shape and choose the fly in option. Animation is a good option to use when you have text boxes or call outs on your screen. Therefore, I will make both the text boxes fade in. Now, the animation option here shows you the timing at which the different animations will appear. The picture will appear first, that is the background image. The text box here, which gets highlighted, will appear second. The speech bubble will appear third. The fourth speech bubble will appear fourth. And now what you can do is you can change the timing as per your need. I want the speech bubbles to appear after the shapes have appeared. I will choose the option after previous. Animation options are many and you can choose from the range of options given on the tab. Step 4. Insert audios and videos. In the insert button, on the right hand corner, you have an audio button. When you click on the drop down, you get two options, audio on my PC and record audio. I will now choose audio on my PC option to add a free audio to my PowerPoint presentation. If I want to change the settings of this audio, I will just click on the speaker button and go to the playback option. Here, I can choose the volume of the audio clip I can trim the audio clip if I want to. I can choose whether I wanted to play across slides, whether I wanted to play in loop, as well as the timing of the audio clip, whether I wanted to start automatically or whether I wanted to start when I click on the button. When using the PowerPoint to video option, you will always choose automatic option as in the video when you convert the PowerPoint, your audio will play automatically. In order to add video to your PowerPoint presentation, in the insert tab, go to the right hand corner and click on the drop down button under the video option. Here you will get two options, online video and video on my PC. Remember, the first option will not work if you are converting the PowerPoint presentation to a video as this will only appear as a link. You can add a locally available video from your system by clicking on the video on my PC option. A dialog box opens. You can then click go to your videos folder 
and you can add whichever video you want to add in the PowerPoint presentation. You can adjust the video screen according to the size of your slide. You can make it small or big. You can also add text along with the video. Step 5. Rehearse Timings You must ensure that all the animations and transitions for each slide are already in place before you set the time for each slide. For using this option, you must go to the slideshow tab and click on rehearse timing. A window appears. Here you can see that on the left hand side there is a small box. This will show you the time that you are spending on each slide. You can click on the arrow to change the slide once the contents of the slide have already appeared. You can do this manually by clicking the next button on your keyboard or you can click the button given here. Similarly, you must ensure that you, you record the time for each slide. After the entire presentation has been recorded for each slide, you will press the escape option. Here you will get an option to save the new slide timings. Click on yes. Now your PPT is ready to be converted to video. Step 6. Export video. For this, you must go to the file option. Click on the export button. Choose the create a video option. You can also choose the quality of the video you would like to convert. You can also ensure that the video uses the slide timings as per the one that you've already recorded. And you can click on create video. Now, you will have to save the video onto your local files. Once you have done this, you will notice a progression bar that appears at the end of the PowerPoint presentation. Here, you can see that the PPT is getting converted to video. Once this is complete, you will be able to view the PPT in video form. Your video is ready. We hope that you found this video useful. Happy creating!